this one that's leaving. My mother brought up this bee story. Hey, Ma, yes. it was five million bees. Five million bees. She thought it was 5,000. Five million bees escaped after crates of hives fall off a truck Ooh, in Canada. The worst truck to fall. That and gas and new, neutral. Police okay. near Toronto have warned drivers to keep their car windows closed after a truck spilled crates carrying five million bees. They received a call at 6.15 a.m. on Wednesday reporting that the bee crates had come loose from a truck and spilled onto the road in Burlington, Ontario. We're not sure or what exactly took place, but at some point the boxes containing the bees or the beehives slid off. Well, I can tell you one thing. If you get the queen, they'll all come back. Thank you. But who, what kind of truck did you not have this and it's like you should have been carrying this. You should have been driving this truck like it was um, with those things that can set off and blow up. Yeah. Real careful. It says by 915, Ma, police said that most of the five million bees have been safely collected. That's why I told you, if you have that the queen, queen probably. Isn't that to. amazing how that works? If you have the queen, thousands of her of her um, mm -hmm. hive will come back. They'll come to her. They'll come to the queen. Yeah, so they probably figured out we got to get the queen. A colony of honeybees in summer has about 50,000 to 80,000 bees, according to the Canadian Honey Council, a national association of beekeepers. And they don't bother you either, just so y'all know. Honeybees don't bother you. Does, does I know it? people scared of bees, but no, not honeybees. No, any kind of bee that comes near me. I know you can't be. They don't. They don't sting you though. I don't care. You right. thinking they will? They don't. Though. I know a wasp. Is Do you know? No, thing. wasp is different. Sting. But a bee, when he stings you, he dies. So that's why they don't sting people like that. I know. I was in when I was in Uganda, um, in the in the bush, we was experiencing weird fruits and weird mm -hmm. bugs. We came across some ants. It was a colony of them that went, they went, they, they had a, a whole thing going around the building we were staying in. So the, the, after the Ugandans there, they had to bur burn leaves to get, making sure oh, the, the ants. ants to get them away. But these ants were really little and red, I think. And if you let them crawl, if they crawl up you and get in any opening, you, they, they'll poison you. They can, you can die. You can you have to be careful. And we were like, Really? You tell us that these ants are killer ants? And I remember standing, getting ready to go into the building and something flew into my neck and it looked like a giant wasp looking thing. And I, I'm in Africa. I have no clue what it was, but I know the minister there who's from there, who lives there, he knew the missionary guy, he pulled out some ointments so quick and rubbed my neck as hard as he could. And it was, it felt, it didn't feel as hurt, bad as it was, but he said it was some kind of a wasp or something. Oh, thank you, Lord. I, it could have stung me. if it, it, it ran into me and I'm glad it didn't sting me. Okay. But I told you we went to Cayman Islands yeah. and those mosquitoes. Yeah. We had off and we was doing off and the mosquitoes was like, if you don't they get out of there here. laugh at us. And if anything, it came more. Spray us again. What is that? That's like sun, suntan lotion. Thank you. Those those is, those uh, mosquitoes was awful. Thank you. Oh my God. Um, Go ahead. Emerald says, "Kim, do you still want to invite him to the barbecue?" Laugh out loud. Kanye West. 